Max Scherzer has pitched two scoreless against LA, but prior to the third inning, Phil Cuzzy does an inspection. Right? If, he's, if his hands are sticky, then that's an issue. And the other thing that's bizarre is this was on the way out to the mound. Yeah, I've seen a couple times in this series they check the pitcher going out to the mound. Everyone remember the Herman Baldelli issue? Getting his money's worth. And Rocco, I, I'd be surprised if he doesn't get ejected. And there he goes. And I think he's got a really good point. There was some reason that Herman was stopped for an extended check along the first baseline as he exited the mound after the top of the third and again before he took the mound in the fourth. But there he is on the rubber. So back to Scherzer, because he sees something. And the remedy here is they do exactly what they did in New York, tell him to replace the glove, wash your hands, etc. So that's what Scherzer does. Which is very strange for an umpire to put his hand inside yes. your glove. Well, Max Scherzer just popped out with a new glove because Phil Cuzzy told him that he had to take the glove he was using out of play. Well, he, he checked his right hand, he checked his left hand, and then he went inside the glove, Cuzzy, which is very strange. Had him take the glove off, and they said, you got to go get a different glove. So anyway, Scherzer does it, goes back to the mound for the third inning, no if problem. It's a sticky substance. Yes. He should be ejected. Right. If it's rosin, then why can't they just get the rosin yeah. out of the glove. I, I don't understand why the glove would have well, to be switched. So this was right before the last half inning that Scherzer pitched before the top of the third. Put some, some tape on his glove hand. It, is that to, to secure the pitch comm inside of his glove? Maybe that's what that's for. While we were in commercial, the umpires did another check of Max Scherzer, and after a heated discussion, Scherzer has been ejected from the game. What Cuzzy is was telling, and Bellino got involved, is that even though it's a new glove, it feels like the old glove. Or, or did Max go back to the old glove? And Max is always animated, whether it's right. this or talking, hitting around the cage, or whatever it is. But this is getting heightened. They did not like the stick, the, how sticky his hand was. They asked him to change his glove. They gave him a warning. The second time they checked him, they still weren't happy with this, his, the stickiness on his hand. That's why he was ejected. Max is saying that the sticky stuff is on my left hand. I don't throw with my left hand. I would have thought that Buck would have been run here. Yeah, you. you but, I mean, Buck Showalter has said that you could ask about every pitcher in baseball using sticky substances every inning. And this has become a real crazy time here in Los Angeles. They just sent Denny Reyes down to AAA today to try and get stretched out as a starter. When they first started checking a few seasons ago, the first day they checked, one of the first people was Max Scherzer. And remember, he started to unbuckle his pants because he was so angry that that was happening. You know, he has a history with the umpires. I don't know if that played any part today. He was adamant to the umpires shouting constantly, it's just rosin, it is just the rosin, it's just the rosin. What level can your hand be a little tacky? You can... Great question, Earl. Remember on the Herman game, we talked about how rosin is legal, you can't get thrown out for rosin alone. But Baldelli's complaint would be you instructed him to remove it, he didn't, so no, he has to get thrown out for failing to follow instructions. Rosin is a legal substance, but too much rosin is illegal. Rule 301 states that no player shall discolor or damage the ball by rubbing it with, well, rosin. Yet you're allowed to have rosin on your hand. So it becomes the situation where you're allowed to have a certain amount, but not too much. Max is saying that the sticky stuff is on my left hand. I don't throw with my left hand. The other rule we looked at, 602C7, states that the pitcher shall not have on their person or in their possession. It doesn't matter what hand it's on. It's not allowed, period. Same story with the tape. Same rule, simply asks to remove it. But if the residue it leaves behind is illegal, then it can be ejectable too. One of the reasons you only can use the MLB approved rosin on the mound, not rosin from the dugout, is that rosin from the dugout can be used as a masking agent for other illegal substances. 
Sort of like how spironolactone is banned from world athletics because it can be a masking agent for APED. Similar logic applies here. So, Rosin, you're allowed it, but not too much of it. You have to do what the umpires say regarding washing your hands and replacing a glove. If you don't, you're gone. Rocco Baldelli probably would have loved to have this crew. I would have thought that Buck would have been run here. Yeah, you There's two things going on here, right? One, the umpire's probably letting the manager have his say. It's a big call. Two, I consider Buck Showalter to be one of the smarter managers regarding the rules in the game today. Also, when the ejection happens, Buck goes to Max first, not the umpires. That tells me Buck knows to an extent what's up here and feels he doesn't need to get run over this. Yeah, well, you can understand Molina wanted to have let Buck say his piece because this is a huge call on the umpire's part. I, I, he said, my hand's too sti sticky, and I said, I swear on my kid's life, I'm not using anything else. This is sweat and rosin, sweat and rosin. I keep saying it over and over, and they touch my hand, they say it's sticky. And I, like, yes, it is, because it's sweat and rosin. And they say it's too sticky. It's not, and it, it, they threw me out because of that. 